today we're going to make uh, ultramarine blue. Hey, baby. And now, I know I mentioned this earlier, maybe I don't need to add this, but I think I will. Just a touch of oxcomb. One milliliter. So, this recipe is two parts pigment, teaspoon, um, glycerin, teaspoon oh. one part uh, gum arabic five milliliter and a fifth of a part of ox gall or one milliliter put all the ingredients in here and we have quite a rich pigment If my tripod is connected to my cable, so when I grind the pigment, I move the camera. Okay, let's try this one.
Well, this shouldn't be granulated to any extent. Let's put that on a little drier. Wow. Ah, that's a pigment. Now, that looks good. I, I like it. Um, and is it granulating? Let's see. Well, it does sort of, looks good, um, let's do, I guess set, set this a little drier. Hmm. There's a pigment I don't have on my pants yet. Ultramarine blue. Well, I I think we can see that it worked pretty good. The formula was <coughs> for ultramarine blue was two parts pigment, one part glycerin. Um, Basically, one part liquid gum arabic and one fifth of a part of ox gall. You could possibly eliminate that, but I, I like how it flows. Anyway, um, I will have links to both the recipe and this project and and the equipment you might want to buy to do it yourself. Right now I'm going to scoop stuff in the syringe. That work. Quite no, it looks like I. It's pretty thick, so it's not coming up in the syringe very well. So. You can also use pots like this, and they hold 15. There's the little tubes I have here. Only hold 10 milliliters. Well, that's not coming up. Oh, well. So, this is just a little bit thicker. And that's just too wide for that. Boy. We may be able to pour this into the tube without a syringe or funnel.
there. I, I think we did did okay there. And we put the cap on it. And uh, ooh, ooh, the pigment. <laughs> The pigment itself is pretty nasty. <laughs> uh, unlike earth tones, this stuff sticks around. Anyway, I'll have the link to for what you can do if you want to buy any of these things, where you can find it. I'm, I'm sure there are other sources, so you can just use that as a, a guide. And we're going to move on and I'm going to clean up. And thank you for watching. Again, today's recipe was for Ultramarine Blue.